You know what they say, do you want to get better at motocross? You need to get 125. Hey, what's up guys? Rado here with Dirt and Iron and we are at the turn track that I uh, I have here to uh, get a little better at, you know, dirt bike riding, especially, you know, getting into those inside ruts and staying in the rut. It's been uh, really challenging for me. So I have this turn track and trying to get better. I was here, uh, usually I come here on my 350 four stroke, but I got uh, some comments and uh, more and more people telling me that I need to ride more 125 uh, to get better. And it's true. If you get those uh, skills on the 125 if you learn how to keep momentum and all those things then you can easily take all that you learn and then go to bigger bike and just be much smoother much faster and much safer i did my first big moto at glen helen which is a national track and uh, i gotta tell you it wasn't easy and uh, i realized many things uh, first of all i need to stay more in the ruts i need to ride faster in the turn in the turns and then uh, if I get faster, I'll be safer because there's a lot of fast guys on the main track. And uh, if I'm in the way, they can land on me. They can, you know, hit me when they are in the turns or I'm like uh, just a big obstacle if I'm too slow. So if I want to keep riding these faster tracks, I need to improve. So 125 on the turn track here. This is 2020 125X. Completely stuck. We put back stuck Mikuni carburetor with a good jetting. Everything is 100% stuck. We have nice seat from Moto Seat, some stickers from Dirt Bike TV and Decal MX. <laughs> It is quite demanding. I can do two, maybe three laps max. And then need to need to take a break. My hand is hurting. My heart is beating really hard. But this thing is staying in those ruts and really carving it in. Quite different. <laughs>
My friend, so you saw it uh, in this 125 on the turn track. It's not an easy thing. Uh, it doesn't flow as well as some other bikes, and it definitely pushes you to stay on your toes, to have that clutch game dialed in. If you miss it, uh, you know you're not coming out of the turn uh, screaming, but it will come out of the turn bugging. So you know it's a it's a big difference. So you really learn how to keep the details on. 125 and uh, definitely definitely i would like to own 125 this bike is a loaner from yamaha we want to have it for a little longer but then eventually we'll go back to yamaha but i'm really thinking to get older yz 125 if i can find a good one uh, fix it up build it and have it as my uh, training bike uh, motocross and just you know dial in those uh, skills to become eventually a safer rider faster that's not really what I'm going for I just want to be much safer and have better flow and be able to just stay on the track for like 40 minutes moto have good time and uh, be as safe as possible as of right now I see that uh, I'm lacking in few things and sometimes I might be uh, maybe too slow if I'm on a big track guys can land on the top of me or something like that so 125 definitely a great exercise a good bike to learn on and dial in those skills get better so if you guys are thinking about getting one of these bikes uh go for it this thing is a lot of fun all right my friends let me know below in the comments and don't forget whatever you do stay motivated see you guys later